She decides on the Oscar, I decide on the, uh, <laughs> on the champagne. <laughs> Priorities. <laughs> well, hello, Marc-André Lucier from La Presse in Montreal. Marc-André Lucier, where are oui. you? Oui, ici. Où? Oh my <laughs> Dans God, ah, bah. Marc-André! <laughs> so I guess it's uh, third time the charm. Uh, for, for, for you, Patrice, uh, congratulations, ouais. félicitations. Merci. Tout le Québec est très fier de toi. Merci. And um, if I ask you what, what this prize means to you today, and if you, are, and if you have a special thought to someone, what would you say? Uh, well, I know exactly what you're talking about because my, my best friend uh, passed away on, the, on, on Christmas Day, and I would say, Jean-Marc, uh, Thank you, because you believed in me uh, very early on in my career in 1995. We started working together, and, um, and I miss you every day. And um, I uh, God, I, uh, I wish you'd be here today to, to, to see this, because we're, we're best buddies. So, Jean-Marc, this is for you. And uh, what was the other question? Uh, I'm like, uh, well, what, uh, what, this mean, what this prize mean to you today? Uh, the, the at, the, at this point in your career? That, well, I, I have to go back to when I was a very young kid and I was like um, watching the Oscars with my, with my parents. I was, ever since I, I can remember, like Oscar Sunday was extremely important in our household. And, um, and I was like, it was coming from, from Montreal. It was something that it was totally unattainable. It was just the holy grail of, of cinema. It was just a, the, and to be here today, I'm extremely, um, I feel, I feel, uh, I, I, I feel that I'm extremely lucky because in my path, I've met ext extremely talented people who, who believed in me and helped, and I had, a gr I had great teams who supported me. And, um, you know, it's, it's a, I, I, uh, it's, it's, it's the pinnacle of, 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 you know, 30 years, 32 years of work. But yeah, it's, 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 I'm, I still don't believe that, I, that, that, that I've got, I'm going to have this at my house. Probably my wife will be doing her exercise, morning exercise with, with it as, as a weight or, yeah, but what can I say? It's, 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 it's quite, it's quite. Incredible. Marc-André, c'est malade mental d'avoir ça. Je ne peux même pas comprendre comme un petit gars de Montréal qui a ça. J'hallucine bien raide. <laughs> Alors, merci et bravo. Merci, Marc-André. Thank you. Next, we have 130 in the back. Bonsoir. Um, I would like to ask you, as a Canadian, um, how do you feel about the Canadian community that is in Hollywood, we don't have Hollywood in Canada. You know that. Um, how do you feel about the presence of Canadian well, talents? We don't have Hollywood in Canada, but just, I know. Like, but just like in Hungary, we have a lot of creativity. <laughs> and I think, I think that is, is an, an amazing uh, gift uh, that, we, that, that, that our communities have. Both countries, like Hungary and Canada, doesn't have the same budget as, uh, as we do uh, as, as, uh, in the United States, and we are trained to work with very little, work on shoestring budgets, and and uh, when we get the chance and with the privilege to work on such big productions, I think it pays off, uh, uh, and and I think I think that's a, that's a, um, a testament. And why do you say that the, to the to the Canadian film industry and Hungary uh, industry as well? I, I'm actually also, I just finished working on a, on, on a movie in, in Australia, and we're working with a Hungarian uh, uh, DP. And uh, I, again, like I was looking at him work, and the tricks that he has, it's like, wow, it's like he's working, he's used to working on shoestring budgets, and, and he creates amazing images. So, so I think it's, it's a tribute to, to, to working with nothing and it's being creative. Thank you, and speaking of Hungary, in our virtual press room, we have Aniko. So you can simply look into the camera and she's going to ask you a question. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. 
Zsuzsanna, I'm here, I'm Aniko Nevai, I write for Hungary, you probably know my name. Uh, this is a huge recognition for the Hungarian film industry and a huge shout out to Adam Goodman for running this ship so flawlessly. How do you feel now? And I have a three-parter. How do you feel now? Are you going to be back for Dune 2? And what was the greatest challenge on designing for Dune? Uh, I feel surreal. <laughs> it's really unbelievable. And yes, I will be back to June too. And I don't remember the third question, sorry. <laughs> what was the third question? Aniko, can you repeat the third question for her? Okay, moving on to SRMG, again in the virtual press room. Hello, Tarek Jazzy for SRMG. Mighty congrats to you both. Uh, well deserved. My question is for both of you. Uh, what were some of your favorite sets or scenes to work on? Uh, all of them, but um, I think I think the favorite thing was to um, it was a challenge to 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 create um, different worlds, different planets, and the challenge was two things. The first one was like, it's, it's a cherished book by uh, Denis Villeneuve, uh, our uh, leader, our, uh, who, who taught us that uh, fear is a mind killer. And uh, he, 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 um, he encouraged us to dream. So dreaming about those three planets was an amazing journey. And the, the most interesting things, uh, the most, uh, the most challenging thing was uh, what, to, to, to give Denis what, what, what he dreamed in his head to make it real and also at the same time be aware that there's a huge fan base of, uh, of the book, of Frank Herbert's writings. So we needed to be true to, um, to, 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 to that. So we... Yeah, so, so, so that's, that was challenging to make sure that we did, would not be uh, thrown uh, bricks, bricks at us uh, when the movie was released. And um, yeah, that was kind of a challenge. Mm -hmm. yeah. Before you guys go, we have Aniko from Hungary back for one more question. Okay. <laughs> yes, uh, Zsuzsanna, I'm not sure I got your answer right. Uh, the greatest challenge on designing for Dune, what was that? It's a tough question. I mean, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> the greatest challenge, I mean, it's a, it's a hard question to answer. I mean, I really enjoyed all of it. And there were challenges in it, but all of them were, you know, Good. So they, we didn't really stress. I mean, we had a bit of stress throughout the show, but it was, I really enjoyed it. Was, I, I can say that it was one of my best experiences ever. The, the, if I can, if, if, if I may. Sure. It's funny because it was such a collaborative effort between all departments. There was very little of drama. Yeah. And it was uh, being collaborative. Everybody had their doors open. So when we needed the other department, we had questions, and it was it was quite an extraordinary experience. J yeah. Just on that level of collaboration between VFX, uh, um, uh, cinematography, costumes, um, hair and makeup, like the, 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 the Baron and the suit, and the, and how to make everything fit together, it was uh, it was kind of a no ego show. Uh, yeah. I would say. Yeah. So we that. I don't know. I think that for everyone it was one of their best experiences because it was a great show to work on and, yeah. and really, really enjoyed it. And I met her. So <laughs> that's, that's, that's a good thing. Zuzana, if I may ask one more question. Sure. How do you feel now that you won BAFTA, the Critics' Choice? The, I, I think you won one more, the uh, uh, Production Designers Award do you won. And now you the want that. You, you, got, you, got, you got everything. I mean, we won it together. Yes. And I know you did. So, but 
Yeah, I mean, I'm really honored to be in the footsteps of the many talented Hungarians. I mean, there were many from Hungary who established basically some of the studios in, in, in here in Hollywood, like George Zucker and Joan Altman. And, you know, I hope that it will open doors for many people who don't believe that they could achieve what I have achieved. But I, I still, it's hard to digest, but I'm proud and, and thank you. <laughs> we have one more question for you from 130. Don't go yet. Hi, I, I know that um, Egyptian pyramids is one of the influences, perhaps. Um, I would like to know how it's more than just architectural, but also steeped in symbolism as well, and if you could be specific. Uh, you mean about Egyptian, uh, specifically about uh, Egyptian pyramids, or? Well, it's, it, okay. There was a lot of influence uh, in the design of, uh, of Dune, and the first influence came from the book. Uh, because Frank Herbert writes that on this planet of Arrakis, uh, the wind blows at 850 kilometers an hour. There's sandworms, there's heat, unbearable heat and, uh, and sunlight. So the design of the movie was basically a response to the to the elements and the realities of that planet as you know, architecture and design should always be. Um, and, 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 and obviously, the pyramid, is, it's, it's angular, um, but there, there, is, there, is more to, there is more to it. There was, in the influence that, 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 that I had was like a ziggurat architecture. There was also Mayan, Aztec architecture. There was, uh, there was also uh, uh, um, brutalism architecture, but mostly brutalism from, uh, from Southern uh, America, from, from, from Brazil. And all of that was to respond to the, um, to the book. Uh, first of all, we are talking about colonialism in a, a, in, a, in a foreign planet, colonialism in a country. So colonialism always want to have a show of force. So that's where the brutalism influence came from. That's where the, 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 the size, the scale of all the sets came from. And uh, the angularity is because of the wind. You would never build anything straight onto that planet. Everything should sweep over the, 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 the buildings. And uh, the, you know, so, so, so there was a lot of uh, architectural influence for the size of the walls and the, but yes, um, Egyptian architecture was part of it.